Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of JRPG Astoria Future Perfect, hopefully the last episode that I have to play East 2. I'm joined as always by Space Quartermaster Ryan. That's me, always infallible, never wrong. And as sometimes by virtual stowaway Clint Prentice. Yeah, maybe you should have me on more often. Yeah, sure. I can make that happen. Okay. I'm in charge. <laughs> uh... <laughs> so I can't warp out of here, huh? It's not a great sign, is it? Can, can I go... Yes, okay. Here and then warp? Step one. No. Maybe get out of the Corvis. Why would they just not let me warp? This is just a... I'm trying to argue with East. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um... Fun stuff. This is like that escalator in uh, Evangelion. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is really any comparison between this and Evangelion is probably fair. Alright, now you should be able to warp. Okay. Uh, so let's go. Goddess Palace would probably be. Yeah. And, um. Yeah, just try to get up a couple levels. Settle in, guys. Settle in. Let's have, let's have a talk. I'm ha I'm I'm settled. Yeah. What do you want to yeah. talk about? Feeling good. Um, <laughs> feeling shitty. Um, I don't know. What do you want to talk about? Life, the universe, mm. ladies. <laughs> I'll I'll pass. <laughs> uh. God, East has just so so depleted me, like mentally. I can't even. What um item Pol did you politics? have equipped in that fight? What item? Yes. A silver harmonica. Because if you get a, uh, if you get, wait, you can use items. You just can't switch them in battle. I right? really don't think you can. I know you've said that in the past. I don't think that's true. But he, he's never wrong. I'm just reading the walkthrough, and it says that you can just use it. Okay. With, without saying that. Fully so if you have the self set of flower, that um fully heals your HP and MP. Okay. Well, I don't have one of those. Oh, get it. I found okay. out where to get it. You have to uh, traverse the ice blockades and mm -hmm. go go through the race 14 chocobos. You know, you're probably right about the ice thing. It's probably in the ice place. Because I just <laughs> glancing as back. It's what? back in the Rustini mine. Oh god. <laughs> oh. This is. Oh no. Hit hitting all my uh, high points. Yeah, I can't go back to the Rustini mine. Why aren't you healing me? What the they, fuck? They stop healing you after a certain point. What? Why? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> what are we playing this game on, normal? I don't think there are difficulties. Yeah. There are definitely difficulties, because there are certain difficulties you can switch items on. Like and... Okay, then normal, probably. Is what we're playing it on, because I'm not, I'm not a fucking baby, Ryan. <laughs> but I'm also not a crazy person. I wouldn't play it on hard. You know, it's a fine line. Come on. Come on. We can do this. We can level up. I believe in you, Adol. The red? Adol the red. I really don't feel like anybody said that to him before that point. Ah, Adol the red. Yeah. Uh, how, did you, how did you get that name? Uh, you have red hair. That's as much effort as I've put into this. I'm not a very strong villain. <laughs> Am I menacing? He pontificates a lot, so 
check. Flew a little too close to the sun, I get it. We all want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, listen to this. This is rocking. You know what? <laughs> now, let's rock a little bit harder with, uh, with waiting for my health to fill up. Okay, I'm actually really close to that elixir. Gotta get right, 60. You can't use items. Right, well, obviously that wouldn't be true, right? I don't know. Man. I mean, the walkthrough specifically said to go get the elixir. Yeah. So. <laughs> it also specifically said that it either recommends the elixir or the flower. Okay, well, then I'll go get the elixir. Alright. Uh, once I level up here. Hey, Evan. Yeah? Are you all about that base? I'd say I'm, like, marginally about that base. Um, just curious. East, east 2, East 1 you couldn't, but in East 2 you can use a healing item during a boss fight. Okay. Evan Tugnani is all about that base, about that base, about that base. Okay, let's go back to Lance Village. So, now... I'll go buy that elixir, uh, and then I will. Then go we'll beat the game. And well, hopefully beat the game. No, we'll beat it. I'll go rest, get all my stuff back. Mm -hmm. Then don't want to talk to you, Jade. I made a mistake. I tried to uh, ask Siri to play me a melancholy song, and she didn't know what I was talking about. She said that she couldn't find melancholy in my music, so, you know. Clearly we don't live in a society. Snowflakes that... off the Persona 4 Golden soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is that I want to be able to, to say a mood and have it pick music based on that, like in her. Hey, hey. Right. What? iPhone 6. Oh, is yes. That... It's coming. It's the future. I, I hope so. I'll be pretty disappointed if that's not in the iPhone 6, you know? Technically, that would be an iOS 8 feature. Oh, uh, no, no, here we hardware. go. Siri is part of a, part of the OS and not part of the hardware. He says hardware. as he pushes his glasses up his nose. I actually no, it's, did It's a that. mood chip they put into the iPhone 6. Oh, a mood chip. <laughs> so the emotional like a, cortex. Is that yep. like a mood ring? <laughs> yeah. Evan would immediately turn off the emotional cortex in his phone. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a robot to think. I need it to do what I want. It's a robot. It's guilt-free slavery. Except for when robots have feelings, like in um, uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, uh, episode uh, A Measure, Measure of a Man, where um, Picard uh goes goes to goes on uh on trial to to make data uh, a person yeah but clint that's fake no it's not it's real <laughs> cuz data's an android but he has human he has human type emotions kind of clint clint the prime directive is not a thing yeah okay so the prime directive is like you don't mess with you don't mess with developing cultures. Right, but it's fake. And it and it pro it protects them as much as it protects the the races that they that that they uh, observe. Uh huh. But it's fake. Why you gonna crush my dreams, man? <laughs> Do you think we're just being observed? Yes, uh, there are observers uh, watching us right now. They're bald men in fedoras and suits. Oh God, no! <laughs> Notch, why? <laughs> Uh, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, of course he's observing us. I'm trying to figure out won't buy the next fucking Minecraft patch. You have to buy Minecraft <laughs> patches, right? <laughs> $30 per patch. <clears throat> uh, oh, right, they don't have eyebrows. That, that was the other weird thing about them. Am I going the 
Where do I have to go again? To the final boss? Yeah. Um, where's the entrance to the final boss? You, you had to talk to the goddess with the pendant on, in the statue in that, uh, room that you were just in. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. Hey, Ryan, we should watch Fringe. No? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I got too much going on right now. And we're playing in a very in-depth thing for AeronautFound.com that uh, people can see later this oh, month. Oh yeah, that's true. What are that's we doing? True. Wait, is this something I know about? No. Probably not. I don't know if Clint talked to you about it or not. I didn't. Okay, well, you should tell me about it, since I tech I'm technically the editor-in-chief. Yeah, I know. I'll tell you about it later. Okay. It's for your birthday. Yeah. Uh, my birthday is not in a month. No, but that's why it's a surprise. Ah. Yeah. I don't know, I find it to be nifty. Ryan does too, I think. Okay. I mean, I signed on for it, so... Only That's thing true. that I ever signed on for that I thought was shit was this. That... Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh... Think we can do this first try? No. Yes. Okay, that's... Well, I, don't I think know we who save. I'm inviting back. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, the realist or the person who's wrong all the time? I was saying the realist. You didn't <laughs> let me finish. <laughs> right now, you need to hurry. I'm Tarf. I, I think we Tarf. shouldn't save. That way, if we lose the elixir, it's just gone. <laughs> <laughs> no, wrong way. Excuse me, Keith. I have to go beat these. Sorry, gotta go <laughs> hey, beat these. Hey, bud. Hey, man, where you going? Gotta, Come I'm back. Going, going to beat these. I got a thing to tell you. Beat these. All right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna hope that this thing just like a ration gets used once I'm dead yeah and if it brings all my MP back then you have two health bars then I have four whole health bars and he only has two until his like other form yeah. Well, I mean, his other form's just the same. It's the, all the same health bar. No, I mean the third form. Oh, right. Oh God, don't, don't even, don't suggest such, such nonsense. Such nonsense as the rule of threes. Yes. You just ran into all those orbs. Oh, I know. I'm playing a little reckless. <laughs> See how this elixir does? Yeah. Wow. That funny if you didn't even need it. Went pretty well. You leveled up, right? Yeah. Those little beams hurt you real good. Yeah, I know. Moment of truth. Yeah! Yep. <laughs> And it still counts for shield magic, too. Ugh. This thing's the worst. Good thing this is the last time we'll see it. Mm, please don't say that. <laughs> I'm gonna math you this up right now. Oh, God. Oh. oh. Is he, like, taking less damage in this form? Uh, Oops. maybe, yeah. Yep, see? No. no, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Yep. Alright. Well, we know that the elixir works. Because when he locks on like that, he can just fucking stun lock you into nonsense. <laughs> and then all of your health is gone, and you're just like, well... 
Okay, so you're sure this is the last boss, right? There, you're I'm, not. Yeah. You're not like after no, I'm this. Totally be fucking like, with you right now. Oh, I'm messed up. There's actually five more boss. There's actually a boss rush, and then the actual final boss. Does seem likely that this is the final boss because I feel like in these games they talk about Darm a lot. <laughs> yeah. I'm trustworthy. No, so don't. Evan, what? What is this? Katoful boyfriend thing. It has a pigeon dating simulator. I should play that. So it I? is like a dating sim visual novel. The only difference is that you're a girl who's in love with a pigeon. I think it's like a world of pigeons, and I you're like you the only human. What was that? I, I thought like were, they. I thought you were a guy going to an all-female bird school. I. You've I, been accepted as the only human student at the prestigious Saint Pigeon Nation. Pigeon maybe Nation you can your gender, Institute. Then? Because I feel like I've definitely heard the uh, female pronoun used in regards to that game. Um, uh, roam the halls and find love in between classes as a sophomore student at the world's greatest pigeon high school. <laughs> the world's greatest pigeon high school. <laughs> Quite the endorsement. I don't know, maybe I should buy it. People seem to like it. Maybe we should do it in between... Dark Souls sessions. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. You guys are about to beat these two. They're not. You did it. Darm oh. it. Achievement unlocked. You thought you beat me, Ado the Red. Oh god, they gave me an achievement. But called not this time. Darm it. It was called Darm it. Darm it. Why did all of my MP drain? <laughs> you don't need it anymore. You're gonna die. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, no, that's... Yep. <laughs> I just need to love myself. <laughs> hey, you did it, it's man. It's a great end. The best ending to a TV show I've ever seen. It's really good. <laughs> it's... Yeah. It'll all be peaceful like it was before. <laughs> Finally, everyone can live in this world free from demons. I should be happy, but I can't stop crying. Oh, God. Tom, please don't cry. If you do, you'll get me started, too, and I won't be able to stop. I can't believe I'm done with this game. Clint, I will give you $300 on if, like, your next date, you talk to your date in that, like, those different voices. I will give you $300 to not do that. <laughs> All right. Either way, I'll give you 300 yep. bucks. so... <laughs> Oh, Dom knew what the goddesses were planning, and he feared they might succeed as well as he should have. I'm sure the only reason I'm still alive after the sacrificial ceremony is because the priest's bracelet. Don't care. Never met you before. Peace has returned, but at the cost of more lives than I care to imagine. Yeah, I killed a lot of monsters. I'm going to build a monument in the Campanilla Lane to commemorate all your achievements. I. You have a bit of a stroke <laughs> there? Adolf, my boy, you did it. You really did it. <laughs> <laughs> my last name's Dabble. I guess Priest Dabble is an ancestor of mine. Dabby. Who knew? Dabby, not Dabble. Oh, I, I can't read it right. Yeah, Dabby. The goddesses told me in a dream to come here. When I first met you in Ramia Village, I somehow had this feeling. I knew you'd be the one to guide us, the one to lead us to a new age of peace and prosperity. It's amazing. At long last, yeast has been free of its ancient curse. It's like a whole new beginning for us. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm babbling, but a, 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 a case. <laughs> uh, Adolf, me, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> it was her blood, her dying breath. Listen to me skip all this dialogue. Demon. Keith, you look so Hold much up. worse. Hey, man. Just, I got really into that thing. Um, him. <laughs> Uh, due to the finality of your victory, now we can um, begin to... We need your courage uh, and stuff. Uh, you did it, Adol. Goddesses appear before me. I run like mad, so magic and prosperity and all that stuff. Uh, goddesses. Uh, oh. Okay, let's pay attention to what Lilia has to say. I'm so glad you're all right. 
when you were in the okay, midst actually, of the Okay, actually, no. Battle. I'm not going to listen to him do that voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It is really the worst thing. After 700 years of settle- Oh. Uh, the, the two of us- uh, The more- uh, But we're, we're goddesses. I feel like that explains this game pretty well. Uh, <laughs> goddesses. Goddesses. Darm. Lilia. Celsetta Flower. Hyperblade. <laughs> Hypercutter, please. Sorry. Oh. Uh. <laughs> and now. Whoa! <laughs> that was cold, man. Secret ceremony. You must wed this woman. Oh shit, I have to marry a goddess? Yeah. Look at that parallax. Parallax! There's so much. It's Fina! Oh and shit, now it's Fina! Every... I have it's so Fina. many happy memories. How's Inchalika going, Fina? <laughs> During the time I. I must go. Jumps off the building. And something about the girl. Goodbye, Edo the Red. I'm just gonna gonna walk away really slowly. Don't stop me. Don't you dare stop me. Turn back, yes, for one final tear tearful glance. And then So much away. emotion in these sprites. Fina. Is that the first word I've ever said in this game? <laughs> yes. Whoa. Fina! I like I liked how you could see there the UI get because it clearly just like upscaled it pushed into the video. So for a second you could see just like the corner of the screen. It was great. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. I'M A HERO! <laughs> ah, we're in love! Ah, music! That was a bad game! Hey, ah, I so, want a drumstick! Ryan, yes. do you think that game was better or worse than East One? Worse, right? I don't... There were some dark times in East 1, man. But there was nothing in East 1 as bad as that last section. I don't know, the Tower of Darm was pretty bad. Yeah, I guess. It didn't hey, take why'd you hit me? Ah, oh, we're in love. Hey, I'm jumping. Oh. Oh. Together, what's it going Finally, we could hang out together. doesn't have the same impact as Persona 4. Hey, hey, we're also monster things. Ah, I'm a tree. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, oh. less people need to have worked on that game. We're done. Okay. I'm never playing East again. I'm never thinking about East again. I'm well, doing nothing. Well, we have to play more of the East games. Shut up. This has been JRPG A Story of Future Perfect. Thanks for watching, everybody. Woohoo! Bye bye.